the living, the true, the faithful God. Abba Father, our Lord and King, the eye that watch, the eyes that watch over us. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for bringing us into your presence. Thank you for your spirit that is within us. Thank you for knowledge, awareness, understanding, wisdom that we have. Thank you for ability to know, to understand, and to seek you. You are God, you are not a man. You rule over the universe. You are awesome in all of your ways. You are excellent in name. In power, in love, in goodness, in mercy, all around you are beyond excellence. Thank you. Papa, we have come. We are here today to seek your face. You are the God of Israel, the covenant keeping God, the God whose words are yea and amen, the promise keeper. Papa, I pray for all of your children that you will gather here today. And as many people as may set out this time, wherever they may be, to seek your face. To ask for help from you. Please hear. Hear from your throne. And as you hear, answer everyone. Spirit, we do not know obviously how to pray and what to pray. We trust in you, we trust you for guidance, we trust you for accurate utterances. We trust you, Spirit of the living God, to lead us through these hours. And I know if you do, with our fear, we shall live here rejoicing, knowing that the Father has attended unto all of our issues. The glory, the honor, the praise, the adoration, the thanksgiving shall be yours and yours alone. Please give us
us the grace, the strength, everything that we need to approach the Father excellently. Give to us Holy Spirit, for you are our helper, our teacher, the God who is with us. Thank you very much. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning in Jesus' name. Take your Bibles. Open to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 45. Read verse 19. verse 19 this is God our father speaking and he is speaking to you he is speaking to me he said I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth I said not unto the seed of Jacob Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. And we look at this scripture, you will see our God in a different posture. Here is making very clear to the house of Jacob, to us his children. The father he spoke, he is the one that charged us, that commanded us, that called upon us to seek him. And he said, I didn't say it in secret, in a secret place, or in a dark place. Why is God saying that? Because when somebody says something in a secret place, in a secret way, in a dark place, you can say, I don't know who is speaking who said what? You can say that because it is dark. You can say the voice. You mistook it. In secret. Because you can say that I didn't quite hear what he said. He said, in other words, I spoke in the open to the hearing of anybody, everybody. That you should seek me and you will not seek me in vain. That's what he's telling the house of Jacob. That's what he's telling us. I didn't say seek me in vain. And whenever he speaks, he says he speaks righteousness. In other words, you can never fault him. When God speaks, you can't fault him. Try whatever you may try. When it has come out of his mouth, he has spoken. And he would do as he has said. You won't turn around and say, oh. Imagine he said he was going to do X, Y, Z. He didn't do it. That is when unrighteousness was set in. 
So I want to charge you, my sisters, my brothers, this day. The Lord our God is the one that has asked us to come and seek him. He has spoken to us, seek me. And be guaranteed you will not seek him in vain. Because he told them, when you seek me, it will not be in vain. When you seek me, you will get something out of it. I believe uh, as you were passing, you collected the seed of paper. I will want you first, when we go on our listen, we want you to read through first. But in case you don't see it, this meeting is divided into three segments. The first segment will be three hours. Remember the theme for the year. And the three P acronyms. Praise. Prayer. Practice. The first segment, we will use it. Three hours. Don't ask God for anything. Three hours. Just praise him. When you get tired of praising him, praise him. When you feel you don't know what to praise him again, just praise him. Worship him. Look at how we are standing. Each and every one of us standing. Our knees are holding us. Our legs, they are not feeble. They are all standing holding the entire body who is at work God that you can have this mind this heart to seek him which is what he wants from us which is what he has called us to do because we recognize that he is all in all in our lives The first three hours of just praise and worship God will be done accurately by you. Like I said, when you are tired, then you start afresh. The next will be only one hour. And that is the hour of simply asking God show you mercy to have mercy on you have mercy on your family have mercy on anyone anything and everyone of interest to you anything of interest mercy 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 then the last for hours we will use it to pray and you'll be guarded accurately as the Holy Spirit leads us Amen but for now we ask the choir I hope we have some members of the choir here we ask the choir to help lead us in worship, in reference to the Almighty God. Vizazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe ulie mungu Bye. 
and the things you have done in our lives. Since you formed us in our mother's wombs, brought us out into this world from her womb, you nurtured us, raised us up, taking us to places where we are today in life is by your grace. Many have gone, many are dying, many are perishing. Whatsoever we have, whatsoever we are today is simply by your grace. Holy Spirit, please, I ask again. Help each and every one of us to sufficiently praise the living God who is everything to us and to do it in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. So you retire on your own begin to present.